Damn, that's a big nose. You up people's business all the time? Same. Same. You know, sometimes I find my nose in people's business. I didn't even put it there. People's business finds me. Mind your own business! What, is it, what does that even mean? I don't know what that means. Do you know what that means? You don't look like you know what that means. This entire channel is what minding your own business is not. <laughs> you know? You know, if I walk into your house, obviously invited, you know? I'm not just gonna like barge into somebody's home. If you invite me to walk into your house, first place I'm going is the fridge. I don't know, I have this urge to open somebody else's fridge and see what decisions they've made. I don't know why, I don't know what it is. I wanna see your fridge. I wanna see what's in it. Is it dirty? You disgust me. Where, where do you go looking? The fridge? The bathroom cabinet? You don't? You do what do you mean you don't go looking? <gasps> the pantry, that's a good one. You'd love to take a look at TikTok Chef Bay's pantry. I love her, her energy is amazing. Um, she is a private chef. Private chef? She works for celebrity clients. So you can imagine, you know, the kind of stuff. Let me hear, let me hear what you think, what you think she makes. Oh, this bougie hundred dollar steak. Perhaps a, you know, bougie three hundred dollar seafood meal, you know, the seafood dinner. No, no. Peasant, a $2,000 pizza. It's an entree. <laughs> Get out! Get out of here! Oh my lord, a $2,000 pizza. Her, her clients, they, they only like a certain water bottle. A $30 water bottle. And, and, there was this one time she made a $1,000 ice cream. Do, do you want to pay rent this month? Or would you like to make some ice cream? <laughs> it's insane. It's just insane to me. In this economy, a little out of touch. So let's just, let's see her, her celeb client entree pizza. My celebrity client wants a $2,000 pizza appetizer for the dinner tonight. Love that it's a, it's an appetizer. Like $2,000 pizza appetizer. Imagine paying $2,000 for a pizza. Like, do I do that in like installments? <laughs> so, you know, to cook these lavish meals for her clients, she goes shopping at this one supermarket that I've absolutely never heard of in my life, and I don't even know how to pronounce it. Erwan. Erwan. <laughs> she goes to Erwan. Sounds like a sports shoe brand. Erwan. Get your Erwans now. It's a supermarket. Let's go to Erwan. I grab some organic figs and the entire line of adaptogenic mushrooms. Wait, wait, wait. I need to see these prices. I'm sorry. Girl, wait a minute. What's that? Reishi? Is that 15? Does that say $59? What the fuck is a sun potion? What, what is this? Oh, mushroom. Okay. Mushroom powder is because why not? Organic almond. I'm sorry, wait. How much did you pay for the almonds? I'm sorry. Almond. That is, $33 for organic almonds. You could just literally get the $9 almonds. They're right above. And sprouted gluten-free flour blends and two of the $30 air one waters. Oh, $30 water bottles. All right. Water is then $35 oil. Some oils, and I bump into my Air One. The best chef in LA. Team chef. <laughs> I then grab my free Air One smoothie, AK water, and yes, I'm wearing ankle weight. I mean, they they best be giving you a smoothie. You're paying $30 for a water bottle. There's no way that shit cost $30 to make. There's no way any, like, I feel like everything here is like 800 times the price just because it's in this supermarket. Like that shit is pure profit. 800% pure profit. They better be making you a smoothie. They should be making you dinner with these prices, actually. <laughs> like does, does the ingredients, by the time they're in my fridge, do they become a meal or why am I paying those prices? Yes, I know what you food base are thinking. I brought my reusable bags, gotta save that money. Girl, what? You did what? I brought my reusable bags. <gasps> What's that? Gotta save that money. She brought her reusable bags. She's gotta save that money. Gotta save that money. <laughs> Bay, Chef Bay. We're not saving money at Air One. <laughs> We're not saving money here. Now, how does it all come together to form the $2,000 pizza? I'm sure you're very curious as well. And I also overnight ship some organic Manuka honey from New Zealand and some caviar from Caviar Mermaid. I then get started on my pizza dough with beauty powder, collagen powder, Air One flowers, Air One olive oil, Air One $30 water, and I give it- I feel like I could look past everything, everything but not that $30 water bottle. <laughs> this one, this one right here is 18 cents. This is an 18 cent water bottle.
the mix and give it a knead and let that rest for about 30 minutes. I then caramelized some figs with my organic Manuka honey from New Zealand, Erewhon water, and fulvic drops. And while those are caramelizing, I get started on my dairy-free cheese, which is an almond ricotta with adaptogenic mushroom powders, nutritional yeast, and it is so creamy and delicious. Oh my God, is that food? Like, what is that? That's very nutritious. Imagine how healthy one can eat, you know, when you've got like somebody looking out for you with these things like collagen and I don't know what acid. Like that's kind of dope, I'm not gonna lie. That's a big win for the client. But I know what you're thinking, every pizza needs a side of ranch. Is that what you were thinking? Cause I wasn't thinking, I wasn't thinking that. Who do, who has ranch sauce? <laughs> who has ranch with their pizza? Okay, so how are you gonna make your ranch? So I do a dairy-free cashew ranch and I mix in a ton of caviar. Mmm, this ranch looks so good. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sure I'm sure like she's so talented and she has like a delicious thing, but I've just I've never even tried caviar. I don't know. I can't even eat that shit. I'll go to the hospital. They don't have a caviar spoon, don't at me. Girl, that's the last thing I even give a shit about. <laughs> You're talking about. Is she not using a caviar spoon? <laughs> For the pizza assembly, I spread out my dough and top it with really good olive oil. And as a base, I do a superfood hemp seed vegan pesto with microgreens and an almond milk ricotta and some tomatoes. And when that comes out of the oven, I add more of the super green pesto that has 24 karat gold flake in it and almond ricotta. Oh yeah. Cause you know, gold tastes so good. <laughs> What's the point of putting gold on your food? I've never understood that ever. There's no nutritional anything to it. Right? It just literally goes right out your ass. Like nothing even happened. Are we just trying to reach the price point? That's what it is, right? I add my Manuka honey caramelized figs with some sea salt and gold flakes on them. And then a nice sprinkling of organic arugula. And lastly, I make an organic date and fig balsamic reduction and then top the pizza with even more 24 karat gold flakes. The full meal is coming soon, but everyone loved it. Honestly, it looks great. And I, my toxic trait is thinking I can make this for like, I don't know, $50. <laughs> Just, it feels a little extra, you know? It feels a little unnecessarily extra. Did they specifically say, I want this pizza to cost $2,000? Like, is that like their dinner table flex? It's delicious, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you, Chef Bay. Delicious meal today. How much was it again? $2,000. $2,000? That thing in your mouth. If, if, if everybody could just, once they're done defecating, gather up the gold flakes and bring them over, please. They're still ours, thank you. You know, I'm just curious whether, you know, Erewhon ingredients <laughs> are just really, you know, that much better to cost that much more. Cause like, it sounds a little dystopian right now, <laughs> right now. Here's another day in her life. Here's another day in the life as a private celebrity chef from Beverly Hills. One of my clients wanted grain-free flax and chia pancakes along with green juice and a probiotic shot. And then I made some coffee and they wanted it to go. So I quickly Ubered over some Starbucks to-go cups. And then the second client wanted scrambled eggs with sprouted buckwheat gluten-free toast. Damn, that's a lot to do in the morning. You know, I just hate cooking, so. I think that's why I'm seeing this as so exhausting. Maybe someone who would love cooking would just be like, oh my God, this is such a dream job, you know? Then I had some pancakes because I was starving and I prepped lunch. I sauteed some green beans because that's their favorite, made these amazing crispy potatoes and then prepped some herbs because I went to the fish market and got this beautiful filet of sole. Just want to clarify about me hating cooking earlier. Um, I don't hate cooking for people. I just hate cooking for myself. It's such a chore. I will cook for you. You won't enjoy it though. That I did this lemon caper sauce with that was, ah, uh, chef's kiss. For a dessert for lunch, I made this organic fruit compote over a dairy-free and plain cheesecake and then had another pancake over maple syrup because I was hungry and leftover kelp noodles. And then we prepped dinner. Dinner was dairy-free ricotta ravioli. Like there's no breaks in here. <laughs> God damn. And then I go to my hometown of Erewhon because there's a Fiji emergency. Um, um, there's gonna be another emergency the way that other cart, <laughs> the way that other cart cut through. <laughs> the audacity. Did you say Fiji emergency? There's a Fiji emergency and I needed to fill the fridge. <laughs> There's no more Fiji. What am I gonna drink? There's no more Fiji water. So funny. <laughs> that is really so funny. And then for dessert, vegan tahini ice cream and cake. Mm, love that. You know, this job is kind of a vibe. And she looks really happy in it, which I'm really happy to see. But what does a another grocery trip look like? Per request, here is what a private client Air One Hall actually looks like. Protein that are amazing, Q Kitchen gems, tomato paste, oat milk butter, coconut aminos, cornstarch for baking. Drop. Drop that almond bag. Drop it. 
for bacon. Drop that, look, look up, look right up there. For bacon. You see that, 750? Drop that $33 bag, drop it. Sesame oil and then I check out. And I also drop a bottle of lemon juice on the floor. I'm so sorry, Erwan, I do. I wouldn't want to break anything in Erwan. You'd have to write them a check for that. <laughs> oh my God, look at that receipt. Run and get another one and that's it. That's my full client haul. Then I head to Beverly Hills. $843. And that's it. That's my full client haul. $14 vinegar. That's literally the cheapest thing to ever exist. Like vinegar is literally nothing. You, you'll literally pay a euro for, for, for vinegar. $13. Damn. $843. I'd need another fridge for the things I can get <laughs> with $843. Like $843 literally could fill three, four fridges. Well, it could fill three fridges. Maybe two. Let's say two fridges in this economy. Which is why this kind of feels out of touch. Marie Antoinette vibes, you know? You don't have bread? Eat cake. But the difference between Marie Antoinette and whoever her client is, her client has no responsibility to kind of feed anybody. So it's their money. They could do whatever they want with it. Just a little wild, you know? Like, even, even if you had that money is what I'm saying. Like, it's your money. You could do whatever you want with it. But like, even then, imagine spending thirty dollars on a water bottle. Like, that's a, that's a waste if you're if you're rich. Someone's like, "Wow, the avocado oil is six dollars less for that exact same bottle at my grocery store." Wild. Like, am I like, are y'all getting scammed at this point? But I'm so curious about that thirty dollar water bottle. And she made this TikTok about it. I get asked all the time if the thirty dollar bottle of water from Erwan is worth it. It's, it's not. I knew it. I knew it. It is nano pure, restructured, hyper oxygenated. Hyper oxygenated H2O. What, do, what does that mean? What am I gonna do with the extra oxygen <laughs> in this water bottle? Am I a fish? Do I breathe the oxygen in this water? Do you see gills? <laughs> we have extra oxygen in this water. So your H2O became H2O2. Is that hydrogen peroxide? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. There's more oxygen in this water. <laughs> it's great. I just want H2O. You can take the extra O away. I must say, it tastes like water. That's fair. Thank you, Chef Bay. You're a real one. I have no magical abilities from drinking it. <laughs> well, for $30, you better be having something. I mean, some people swear by it. You know, in Spain, tap water is great. Just have tap water. <laughs> That's literally like, my coffee's always tap water. I know I would never buy a $30 bottle of water. Like that's like, I would have to be, I just don't see, I just don't see a possibility, a world where I would. <laughs> imagine like how much, how many, how many water bottles do you drink a day? Two? Let's just imagine you need one of these water bottles a day, okay? That's like almost a thousand dollars. <laughs> on water. That's rent. Stop. Stop. That's literally, that's free. That's, that shit is free if you drink tap water. If you don't like, you know, the way the tap water sometimes tastes. Normal water is like, what? 18 cents. But let's see that ice cream she made. Let's make the most Air One ice cream sundae to exist. Let's go shopping. So we go to Air One and get some keto vegan donuts, some chlorophyll, some chaga, some hasho woo, some lion's mane, some chlorella. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my god, where where are we again? Is this a supermarket? Or is this some kind of like laboratory? This is this is Hogwarts. Some heirloom cacao, some sea moss gel berry flavored. We're making a potion, we're not making a scoop at this point. And collagen spirulina green, some cacao nibs. Next I grab some organic sprouted almond flour, some vanilla bean peas. Big fans of yours. Love your $200 peanut butter and jelly. Your $200 peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> I literally only recognize like three ingredients from everything she picked out. Back to shopping and I get some salted caramel spreaded almond butter, some tahini, a couple kinds of honey, cause we're fancy like that. And then the water, if you know, you know. Lastly, I get some smart sweets candy to put on top of my ice cream. I oh, wait, wait, how much is that? It's candy to put on top of my ice cream. I <laughs> That's a, that's a thousand dollar ice cream. What's that last item? Chlorella algae powder. $39. I think the ice cream could have done without chlorella. And I can't wait to show you the delicious ice cream sundae I make with this. Oh my god. I'm so curious to try something she makes. Honestly, I just want to be able to tell if it's still ice cream or not. <laughs> you know? She is talented. To be able to turn 
all those fucking <laughs> wild ass ingredients. What what is that? Why is it sixty dollars? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god, this is so this is like the most unrelatable undoable recipe to ever exist, you know? It's not really a recipe, it's her secret. It's why she's got the job, you know? A thousand dollar ice cream. Someone's like, I could have paid off my credit card with that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> if you know, you know. No, we don't know. Yes, we do. Stop. We know. It's talking about the water bottle. It's not like she's saying, you go get it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Here is my full private chefing Erwan haul. Some cultured vegan almond butter, cocoa jude vegan yogurt, some almond milk. What the f*** is almond milk? I am learning new things today. I'm learning that my diet is very deficient, it seems. And I don't know how to make ice cream. I've never used... What's that? Some chlorophyll, some chaga, some ha wu. My ice cream's never had ha wu and chaga and fucking lion's mane. Woo. What nutrients am I not consuming? Seven dollar chickpeas. So delicious, and I start putting everything on the counter, and as I'm checking out, I see Dylan, and I give him a fist pump, and that's it. That's my whole Erwan haul. Oh my god, it's a chill day today. Four hundred dollars. I made chicken alfredo with jar sauce from the dollar store today. <laughs> I'm sure it was delicious, you know? At the end of the day, it's just food, like... How could you just use jar sauce? You forgot the lion's mane. Woo. The video before this on my For You page was a woman who had like $50 to feed her family for two weeks. I don't know. Well, that's just the harsh reality of... our world, you know? Some people be making $1,000 ice creams and some people have $50 to feed their family for two weeks. But, you know, we blame those in charge. We can't blame... Whoever's making a thousand dollar ice cream. At the end of the day, it's their money, you know? And at the end of the day, what they choose to do with it, their own money, you know? Whether out of compassion or the lack of, it's up to them, right? The blame goes on those in charge, right? People out there drinking $30 water bottles. It's hyper oxygenated. Like literally, what does that even mean? I'm curious, I'm sorry. Like what is hyper oxygenated? water. Same tech used to oxygenate lakes, swimming pools, and aquariums. Like, what's literally, what's the point? Oh my god, it's literally similar to hydrogen peroxide. Okay, must be consumed immediately. <laughs> Imagine if it goes bad. <coughs> oh my, what? Oxygenated water must be consumed within 30 minutes of opening it. Fam, I'm not gonna open that $30 water bottle and chug. <laughs> No. You want me to consume my $30 water in 30 minutes? That's a dollar a minute! Damn, that's absolutely useless. So now it's it's way more expensive and it's a hassle. I'm sorry. That is wild. Like every water is oxygenated. It's got H it's H2O, bitch. It's crazy. Oh, when did he show up? Hello. <laughs> Um, you're wondering why it's always him. It's because he's the friendliest. He just loves people so much. So what are your thoughts? Share them down below. If you want to sit on the table, go ahead. Go ahead. So what are your thoughts? Share them down below. Would you ever try out... Well, I mean, I wouldn't say try, because, like, I would want to try too. Like, how about you go get a $30 Erwan water bottle, and I'll just, you know, I'll just have a sip. I'll help you finish it in 30 minutes. <laughs> we have a ticking time bomb on our hands. The water bottle <laughs> needs to finish in 30 minutes, apparently. I would love to try some of Chef Bay's delicious-looking meals, but, you know, if I ever find myself lucky enough to have you know, a private chef. Oh my god. I'll just imagine like walking up to someone and saying, can you make chicken nuggets? And they actually have to make you chicken. Like, that's wild. <laughs> Something. No, but I would love to have a very healthy kind of oriented cuisine, kind of like the one she makes. But we can drop the lion's mane. Loose. If I ever see that almond package in the kitchen, I swear, you're not spending $30 on almonds. <laughs> no. How about we plant an almond tree in the backyard? Okay, I'm rambling. I'm rambling at this point. Um, share your thoughts down below, guys. <laughs> Would you rather a $2,000 pizza or a Domino's? <gasps> Did you just gag when I said Domino's? Whoa. What is it then? Papa Jones? Papa Jones. What's your favorite pizza? I'll tell you mine. It's the one I make. Yeah. I hate cooking so much. But I would love to make you pizza. You know? I would love to make someone food. Because like, something feels so good. I think that's what Chef Bay 
feels too, you know, when she finishes a meal, because she looks so happy. So when she finishes like a meal and she sees people really enjoying it, that's, that's nice. That's nice. But to cook for myself? And then what? I'll literally spend four hours in the kitchen and eat that shit in like two minutes. I kid you not. I kid you not. I eat so fast. It's not good. I know. But like the other day, my sister and I were having dinner and we were waiting for this place to open, but they let us sit, right? They were like, of course, like we could sit until they opened. They were like three minutes to opening. So it was 8.30 p.m. They opened. They gave us five minutes to check the menus. 8.35, okay? They came over for the order. They took their order. They disappeared. Finished making the meal very quickly. It took them, I don't know, seven minutes? It was 8.42. I was done eating 8.45. <laughs> <laughs> you not that's it disappeared vanished gone. gone that's what happens when you put food in front of me i just consume i just consume it like <sighs> i'm really hungry actually i didn't eat anything today i had like a protein bar protein bar bro <laughs> protein bars kind of sounds like what protein what air one is it's like a protein brand air one protein let me know your thoughts down below guys what do you think air one sounds like what could air one be because in my head there's no way that's a supermarket <laughs> so, yeah guys that was pretty much it i'm gonna go now bye see y'all see y'all